All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, this is a brand new channel. Uh, first video I'm dropping, uh, channel Straight and Proud. Um, just going to be giving uh, my thoughts on the whole uh, transgender issue and what I think the main reason and the main agenda is for all this promotion and praise of it and everything. And um, just going to, I'm going to reveal, I'm going to reveal that at the very end of the video, what I think the ultimate goal is behind all of this stuff and everything. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, first thing, uh, let me just give you my feelings on the whole transgender uh, issue. Um, it is completely wrong. It's sick. It's absolutely disgusting. It's evil. Um, it's just absolutely a, a smack in the face to God Almighty. Um, that's all I can say. I mean, he, he made uh, men to be men, women to be women. I mean, whatever you're born as, that's what you are. Um, that's what you're going to be for the rest of your life. No matter what you try to, you know, remove some of your parts or add parts or whatever of the opposite sex, a man is a man, a woman is a woman. As much as they try to change or look like something else, it ain't going to happen. So you might as well just um, be happy with how you were born and live with it and, you know, make the most of it. That's all I can say. And I'm sure some people will, you know, write in the comments if this gets any views. This is my very first video, so I don't know how much this will be uh, reviewed or watched or anything, but I'm sure some, some people will say they don't believe in God and, you know, it doesn't, you know, whatever. I don't really know what to say to that. That's your first problem there, I guess, with the whole thing. Um, so you you can't can't really do anything without God in your life. So uh you got to have him in your life to, you know, to see the truth on some of these things. Um so, so anyway, that's all I can say about that. Um So next thing is uh I'm sorry. This is my very first video, guys. Uh I've got some, you know, talking points here that I, you know, that I want to go kind of in order, um, so just bear with me, please, um, so anyway, uh, so this, this, this agenda is obviously being pushed mostly of all by our politicians, um, the, uh, Democrats, the left-wing politicians, we have seen so many awful things with this movement ever since Joe Biden got in office uh, back in 2020, I guess sworn in by January 2021. He has just approved so many ridiculous rights for these people, for um, the, uh, I believe, the transgender bathroom issues and schools and uh, workplaces and everything. Uh, I am in South Carolina. That uh, that none of those things have passed here, thankfully. Um, but as far as I know, like in California, New York, places like that, places that are uh, Democratic states, it seems like mainly uh, have this problem. Where I mean, men are allowed to go into women's bathrooms. Women are allowed to go into men's bathrooms. I mean, grown men are going in after after little girls, I mean, this is just, this is insane, people. I don't know why this is even really a debate or an issue. This is just common sense, the, the most basic uh, way of life is there's men and there's women. There's just, there's no, there's, <laughs> there's a difference between men and women. Um, it's the way it always has been, the way it always will be. So, I mean, I don't, I don't get this whole thing. This is just inviting things for uh, for sexual assaults against kids, against grown women also. I mean, a 30-year-old man that says he's a woman can follow a, a grown woman into the bathroom because he supposedly identifies as a female or neither or both or whatever the hell they are talking about. I have no idea. I don't understand it. Don't want to understand it. Um, but anyway... So, let me get to the main uh, point of this whole video. And this, I wanted to do this video first because um, 
oh, as, on the, as the first video of my uh, channel here, a brand new channel, um, because I really, truly believe that this is the main agenda for uh, this movement, this promotion of all this transgender stuff. Um, uh, one more thing before I get into that, I'm sorry. Um, you see that uh, in every TV show, every movie basically, that has come out for about the past two or three years, there is always at least one character, possibly even more, that is either gay or transgender or <laughs> what? Uh, what is it, um, non-binary, uh, where they don't identify as either, they don't, you know, or they identify as both. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so it is obvious. Uh, Hollywood, the the media is controlled by, you know, people that want to push this agenda, that are promoting this, and want to get it in everything. It's in, you know, all this Pride stuff, Pride Month. You know, all the rainbow colors, the flags, and everything are all over. You know, uh, stores that I believe Target has a whole section for Pride now. Um, of course, the Bud Light issue where uh, a man uh, that tried to change himself into a woman uh, became, uh, became their spokesman or something. I don't really know the whole story there, but uh, thankfully these companies are facing some backlash. People are not standing for this. They're not, you know, completely okay with this. That's good news, but there's a lot of people that want this to be the case and are promoting this stuff. I don't know why other than they're just, they're just evil. They're just sick. I don't know why you would ever promote this. Of course, if you are gay, then, you know, that makes sense because you want to promote all this stuff and, you know, you, um, you agree with this because this is the way you think also, you know, in these kind of ways. And, you know, that at least makes sense to why they think that way. But why do straight, normal women and men want to get on board with this and say that this is okay and this is good and they support this? I just don't get it. But um, anyway, so we see that it's in a lot of stores and especially during June, the Pride Month or whatever, it's all over the place, all, all over um, everything, all over TV channels. And like I say, in ev basically every TV show and movie now, it is some character on there that is, you know, gay, trans, whatever, uh, um, identifies as both, well, all these different sexual things. Um, let, me, let me just say this. There's two sexual orientations. There's straight and there's gay. <laughs> uh, bisexual is gay because they're attracted to the same sex. They might also be attracted to the opposite sex, okay? But they're also attracted to the same sex. So that's just, that's gay as well. Um, all this, uh, what is it, pansexual, I believe is a term. Um, uh, I can't think of any others. I know there are just so many, so many terms now for, for genders and for... Uh, sexual things and everything i mean uh, uh what is this crazy thing um the fur movement or furbies or something like that where people are attracted to people wearing fur looking like animals i mean <laughs> so they're attracted to so they like the feel of an animal's fur i mean yes it's people that they're doing stuff with but i mean they're they like the feel of fur on them in a sexual way. I mean, this is just, this is beyond ridiculous and sickening in every way. So, um, what I believe to be the point, the main point of this evil agenda of push, of pushing this transgender issue, I believe this is a way to, um, eventually legalize pedophilia, the rape, molestation of children. And that, I'm sure that comes out of nowhere, it sounds like. And let me explain what I mean by that. So, as an example, um, say there is a man, and he attempts to change himself into a woman, and he now identifies as a woman, and supposedly the world is supposed to 
see him as a woman, consider him a woman, call him her, she, whatever. Um, and since he identifies as a woman, that's what he should be addressed as. So this woman, supposedly, which is not, we know that, um, if a man, a, you know, man that identifies as a man, dates this woman, or sorry, dates this man that tried to turn himself into a woman, um, it's supposedly he's still straight because this is a woman. Well, it's not a woman, it's a man, so this guy is gay. But he will be looked at, supposedly, or should be looked at, according to the majority of the world right now, he should be looked at as a straight man who is dating a woman. Well, it's not a real woman, so he is gay. Okay, so the reason I bring that up is just an example. But let's take a child, a 10-year-old girl, in elementary school, I guess she would be. Um, and she doesn't, doesn't want to identify as a 10 year old girl anymore. Uh, she decides that, Hey, I'm a 25 year old woman, an adult. Um, and, and the thing is, uh, this, this, this whole thing of transgender and gay and pride and everything is being taught in schools now. Um, again, I'm in South Carolina. I do not think it's being taught here. I don't have kids, so I don't know what they're teaching, but uh, as far as I know, it is not being taught in the, in, you know, in most parts of the South, it seems like. I'm not really sure on that. Let me know. Um, but, uh, so they are being taught by their teachers, and apparently they're being told by their parents that they can be whoever they want to be, be you, you know, uh, nobody has the right to tell you who or what you are. Well, I mean, for one, kids have no comprehension of what this stuff even is or means, as, and they should not have any idea of what this means, because it shouldn't be being taught to them at all. They should be instilled with values that men are... For women, women are for men. That is the only way it works. And their kids, they shouldn't even be thinking about that right now, much less gay stuff or anything. This stuff, this trash being pushed on them, these books that they're telling them. Uh, I was actually in the library a couple of weeks ago, and there was a whole, whole pride section with the rainbow colors all over it, and it had under it, like, at the pronouns thing, all these different pronouns, what people should be addressed as. Just, just crazy. Um, but anyway, so my point is, this 10-year-old girl, let's say she wants to, she, she, she no longer identifies as a 10-year-old child. She wants to be a 25-year-old girl, a woman, an adult woman. So, Supposedly, according to the world, we should view this girl, this child, as a 25-year-old woman. And I think this is the point of the whole gender issue, gender identity stuff, that you can identify as whatever you want, that uh, you can be whoever you feel like you are. Um, and these teachers are pushing this idea on these kids to... And they're saying that it's normal, that it's okay, it's nothing wrong with it, you know, uh, to be gay, to want to be a different gender, to identify as whatever you want to be, whether that be um, <laughs> a plate, a fork, a cat, who knows what they're telling them, uh, any type of person, you know. So this girl wants to be a 25-year-old girl, and she, they're probably being told by teachers, um you know, hey, that's fine. And they're being told by politicians, of course, always, not that they would see that much, but who, I mean, who knows, but it's just everywhere in shows and everything. Be who you want to be, be whatever you feel, be you. And this girl could be 10 years old and she's identifying as a 25 year old woman. So therefore, if a man, a grown man, 30 years old, 50 years old, 40, a woman, 30, 40, 50, whatever, a grown adult woman, if they touch this child, this 10-year-old girl, have relations with this child, well, she's not a child. She's a 25-year-old woman. So what's the problem? There's no issue. And that's the point, I think, that's the main agenda of these politicians and uh, these 
elites, I guess you would say, people in trying, people that are really controlling this world right now. Um, that's the main agenda for them to get pedophilia legalized. And, and the reason is because they are evil pieces of trash. They follow Satan, the devil himself. There's no denying that. We have seen pretty much everything since Biden has been in office that he has gone. He has done everything he possibly could to go against the word of God in everything he has done. Uh, that whole group over there, him, Kamala Harris, uh, uh, Barack Obama, uh, Hillary Clinton, all the people, uh, Joe Biden is not running anything. Clearly Obama and Hi Hillary Clinton, Obama's wife, they are the ones in control of Joe Biden telling him exactly what to do and say. Um, that I don't think that's really much of a debate. Um, but I think that I think the point of this all is the main agenda is to eventually get pedophilia legalized. And that is that is absolutely terrifying and horrible. I hope and pray that I am wrong about that. Let me know if you agree with me. If you think I'm an absolute nutcase, that's fine. Leave any comment you want. Um, all comments are welcome. Uh, but that's what I truly think. And, you know, same with a, a boy, a eight year old boy, six year old boy, 12 year old boy, you know, he can identify as a 30 year old. So therefore, if he's, you know, if a, an adult does stuff to him, relation, intimate relations has, they have with him, uh, he will, that, that won't be a crime. That'll be no problem because, Hey, he's not a 12-year-old. He's not a kid. He identifies as a 20-something-year-old. So that's what he is. That's what we should see him as. How crazy is this? This is this is insane. But um, anyway, that's my first video. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, subscribe. Uh, give me a like if you think I've earned it, whatever. Um, just keep watching, and thanks for tuning in. All right.